all right uh, welcome back everyone so in this video we're gonna look at an example of heat transfer so uh, and to be specific we're gonna look at an example of uh, conduction all right heat conduction so here we have a cooling fin you're gonna you're probably gonna find some of these at the back of your refrigerator or uh, if you've ever looked at the radiator in your car it's gonna be uh, they're gonna have uh, extended surfaces and so if i were to break it down so this right here cooling fin is actually an application okay it's an application of conduction right it's an application of conductive heat transfer good and so basically what you have here is you have a rectangular block that's coming out of a wall okay the wall is at a fixed temperature the wall is at a fixed temperature t wall and the air it's surrounded by air and uh, it well it could be another fluid but for our problem it's just going to be air and air is at a temperature t infinity so there is a so there is a, a conduction along the z direction so there is conduction happening along the z direction okay and also there's some conduction happening in the x and some conduction happening in the y direction but mainly you're losing heat mainly you're losing heat to the surroundings via con via convection so the main all right so there is conduction along the length and there is convection away from the fin because like uh, the con the material is going to exchange heat with the fluid okay so the idea is to give an extended surface the idea is to give an extended surface okay and what's the what's the point of having an extended surface the point of having an extended surface is to increase surface area to increase surface area all right and having more surface area is gonna allow for more uh, contact and that's gonna enhance heat transfer that's gonna enhance heat transfer all right very good so now the problem is okay we've gone through the application the problem is that getting a good rigorous model for this problem for this example is is going to lead to partial differential equations and we as engineers don't really like partial differential equations because they're hard to solve so yeah we're gonna take reality and make a simplified model so on the on the left side i have the disappointing reality temperature is a function of all three coordinates there's a heat transfer in all directions and the final one being that the convective heat transfer newton's law of cooling the heat transfer coefficient itself is a function of itself is a function of both the uh, temperature of the um, surface and the temperature of the surrounding fluid so much so much complication but uh, in order to get a good analytical model we'll have to make a lot of simplifying assumptions so our first simplifying assumption ladies and gentlemen is going to be that temperature is only a function of z z along the length all right along the length of the length of the fin and we're going to assume that there is only conduction there is only conduction in z direction all right we're going to assume that and there is convection there's convection in the x direction convection in x let's uh, show you okay and by convection in x direction so from the bottom from the bottom surface and the top surface okay there is no heat transfer no heat transfer in the y direction no heat transfer in y in the y direction good and finally we're going to assume that the heat transfer coefficient h is a constant so those are going to be our assumptions and before we move on let's see in which cases these assumptions are going to be good so the first one the first assumption is going to be good in the case where we have a highly conductive material in the case of a highly conductive material there are going to be minimum fluctuations in the x and y direction if you have a highly conductive material so highly conductive material 
like copper some metal all right you don't want to you don't want to make uh, cooling fins out of plastic or pvc that's that's not good You're, you know, you don't want to make cooling fins out of rubber no 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 bueno you want to make cooling fins out of a highly conductive material okay um we have small edges we have small edges so there's going to be very little room for heat to escape along the edges okay if these edges are small if these edges are small there's going to be very little room for heat to escape through those edges all right so no so there's only going to be convection in the x direction there's only going to be convection in the x direction the top surface and the bottom surface and yeah heat transfer coefficient is going to be constant that's a that's a big assumption all right that's one of the biggest assumptions so moving on we'll have to do a shell balance so i've taken a differential element so the entire fin i've taken just a small differential element and i'm going to write my energy balance on it so there is no there is no chemical reaction there is no electricity there is no uh, nuclear radioactive decay and of course we're going to operate at steady state so let's see this goes away this goes away this goes away accumulation goes away because steady state sources and there is no uh, chemical reaction no radioactive decay no electric no electrical current so there is not going to be any source or sink of heat sink for your heat okay um let's see now in all right so let's see if we can start building our equation there's q there's heat flux in the z direction okay that's entering that's and that's gonna enter our shell and that's going to be multiplied by the area. The area normal to that flux is going to be W times 2B. So that's just going to be 2BW. Uh, 2BW. All right. I don't think there's any other way heat is going to enter my... Uh, there's no other way heat is entering my differential, my shell balance, my shell. What about the... Uh, how is heat escaping? So for starters, heat is escaping via conduction, okay? Heat flux, conductive flux comes in, conductive flux goes out. All right, uh, different, different colors, of course. Z plus DZ. And that's also going to be multiplied by the same area. And there's another, there, we're also losing heat. We're also losing heat via convection, right? There's also going to be heat the output term is also going to include a heat uh, convective term so the area since we only have conduction from the top and the bottom only from the top and the bottom so the uh, the term for the con convective heat flow the total convective heat transfer is going to be 2 w times dz okay that's the area 2 w times dz both top and bottom and it's going to be the temperature the temperature of the cooling fin minus the temperature of the fluid and all of that is going to be equal to zero so if we were to write this energy balance now we're now we're going to start developing our equations so q at z that's my input term multiply that by the area so flux multiplied by area, that's the rate of heat transfer. Minus 2BW, same area. Flux leaving my system. Okay. And again, the convective flux is also taking energy away from my shell. All right, let's zoom out. All right. So this is my energy balance. All right, let's see if I can go from this expression to an ordinary differential equation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide everything by the volume of this shell. And if you remember your geometry, the volume of this shell is gonna be the length times the base times the height. So 2BW times DZ, 2BW times DZ, 
2BW times DZ. And let's see. Terms are dropping out. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Uh, what, what else? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's see what we're left with. Let's see what we're left with. I'm going to switch colors now to make things more appealing. So this is what we're going to be left with. My conductive heat flux divided by dz. Okay. And my convective term is going to be the heat transfer coefficient divided by b times the temperature of the temperature of the cooling fin minus t infinity equals 0. Okay. And as you take the limit, as you take the limit of dz, as dz goes to 0, and this expression is just going to become the derivative. So this entire equation, this entire equation becomes negative, the negative dq dz minus h over b, the heat transfer coefficient divided by b, b being the uh, half thickness, the temperature of the cooling fin minus the temperature of the surrounding fluid. So, all right. Our, let's see. Hmm. The conductive heat flux in the axial direction. So if I refer back to Fourier's law, if I refer back to Fourier's law, I would know that QZ is equal to negative thermal conductivity times dt, the derivative of temperature with respect to Z. All right. Okay. Making that substitution, my final differential equation is going to look like this. Okay. Again, there's a negative sign here. There's a negative sign here. Minus H over B times T Z minus T infinity equals zero. All right. And just to make this even nicer, I want to isolate the second derivative minus H over KB times the temperature of the cooling fin minus temperature of the fluid is equal to zero. So this right here is my final ordinary differential equation. And as you can see, we have a second order, we have a second order ODE. Okay, second order in Z. We need two boundary conditions. We need two boundary conditions. So our first boundary condition is going to be at Z equals zero, our temperature is equal to the temperature of the wall, T wall. And our second boundary condition is going to be at z equals the tip, L. L being the tip of my cooling fin. And it's adiabatic. So Qz at the tip is going to be equal to 0. Which ultimately means that the derivative is going to be equal to 0. Alright. So we essentially have the model. Alright. But um, this actually right here, this is actually a non-homogeneous this is a non-homogeneous differential equation. Non-homogeneous OD. And we don't know, and non-homogeneous ODEs are kind of harder than homogeneous ODEs. So in the next part of this video, we're going to look at, we're going to introduce dimensionless variables to make our analysis even simpler. So yeah, just to give you guys a quick recap. Uh, cooling fin application of conduction we ex use extended surfaces to increase surface area enhances heat transfer so the simplifying assumptions temperature is only a function of z conduction in z con convection in x no heat transfer in y the heat transfer coefficient is a constant and we did our shell balance we did a shell energy balance on our shell so again this is a uh, our conductive uh, heat due to conductive flux going in, heat due to conductive flux going out, heat due to convective, heat due to convection going out, and, okay, so, 
and in this step we divide it by the volume of the shell we combine Fourier's law and well this was our final ODE and we have two boundary conditions and this is a non-homogeneous ODE we're gonna make it homogeneous in the next part of this video by using dimensionless variables so thank you so much for watching